Thanks very much for telling me about these antibiotics. I certainly hope I don't have to use them. Oh, me too. So now I'd like to uh, start the next part of our appointment and uh, where we're going to talk about you and your medications. And this is more formally called um, a meds check appointment. And I like to compare it to an annual physical that you would have with your physician. This is an annual medication checkup that you have with your pharmacist. And uh, it'll likely take around 30 minutes. So we should be done around uh, 1030. Sure. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to mention is um, I'm the only pharmacist on schedule today. So in the event that we get interrupted because of an, uh, an emergency in the dispensary, I, I really hope you'll understand. No worries. Great, good. Thanks for understanding. So let's get started. Now Jane has done a good job uh, in putting some of the information here. So I just wanted to start off by confirming I see here that you have a penicillin allergy and that you are a smoker. Is that correct? That's true. Okay. With respect to the penicillin allergy, have you ever actually been tested for that by an allergist? No, I haven't. Um, it's just that uh, when I've had penicillin prescribed in the past, I, I get an upset stomach. Okay. So the doctor just said stay away from it. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'm going to just change that from a penicillin allergy to a penicillin intolerance, which means that you're not really medically allergic to it, mm -hmm. but uh, your stomach just can't tolerate it. Sure. And, you know, just f for your own information, it's important to note the difference. The reason being is that if you are truly uh, allergic to penicillin, it may restrict your physician from, uh, from prescribing a number of antibiotics for you in the future. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, now getting back to the smoking. Now, I'm sure you know that, uh, or hopefully you know that quitting smoking is, you know, the single greatest intervention you can do to improve your health. Have mm -hmm. you ever thought about quitting? Well, I have thought about it, but I've really got way too much going on in my life right now, so I'm not going to do it right now. Yeah, no, the time has to be right, fair enough. Mm -hmm. But when you are ready, uh, uh, Cynthia, I'd really like to help you. Uh, we have an excellent uh, quit smoking program here at, at our pharmacy. In fact, you know what, why don't I give you a brochure about it to keep on hand. And uh, it outlines the program, and uh, as I said, I, I'd really like to help you, you know, with that. And, and maybe even when you come back from, from holidays, but it's whenever you're ready. Sure. Okay. Now, I've got your medication list started here uh, from our files. So what I'd like you to do is tell me one by one uh, which medications you take. Hmm. Well, let's see. I take a thyroid pill. Right. Um, that's for my thi low thyroid, mm -hmm. and I've had that for a couple of years now. I take a water diuretic pill, um, and that's actually just half a tablet, and I take that uh, for blood pressure. And I also take uh, teotropium, mm -hmm. and that's for my breathing. Um, it's helped a great deal. I've been on it for about a year now, and I guess I'm on it because I'm a smoker. Right. Um, and how I use it is I, I just um, put one of the capsules in an apparatus, puncture it and inhale it. And it's it's really worked. It's very really helped. Good, um, good, okay. And I also take um, this uh, blue inhaler. Right. And that's for my shortness of breath. But I've really never had to use it since I've gotten it, so and that's basically all I take. Okay. Okay, and that's good. That's what I have on uh, on my records as well. So the next step is I'd like to ask you to tell me how you take your medications. And what I mean by that, Cynthia, is uh, what time of day you take them, how many times a day. Uh, do you take them on an empty stomach or with food information like mm -hmm. that? Well, I think I've got a pretty good routine going. Um, I get up in the morning and I take my thyroid pill with a glass of water and on an empty stomach. Okay, that's good. I do uh, a few yoga stretches, mm -hmm. then I have my breakfast, and I take my diuretic, and then I um, take my vitamin C. But, oops, I guess I didn't tell you about that. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna add that to your file. Okay. That's good information. Do you know what strength of vitamin C it is? Uh, it's, I think it's uh, 500, here it is oh, right here. I just bought it, yeah. Oh, perfect, okay, great, so let me add that in. All right. I also take a cranberry capsule at bedtime. Okay, so that's good. Well, after I take the vitamin C, I take the teotropium. All right, very good. So that, see, that's very good information. I'll give that back to you. So I just wanted to go back to, to the inhaler. Mm -hmm. um, now, you said you haven't had to use it, which is, you know, a good thing. But um, I, I think it would be a good opportunity to review your technique just to make sure that, that you're using it properly. So can you show me how you would use it? 
In our recap of part one, we saw Iris playing a huge role in the successful MedsCheck appointment with Cynthia. Immediately, Iris set up Cynthia's expectations for the MedsCheck, resulting in a much more satisfying patient interaction. She mentioned the length and estimated completion time of the MedsCheck appointment and indicated that it would take around 30 minutes and be done by 10.30. Iris also advised Cynthia that she might get interrupted during the appointment, diffusing the likelihood of Cynthia being annoyed in the event of an interruption. Iris began the meds check session by verifying some of the information Jane had entered into Cynthia's profile. This allowed Iris the opportunity to clarify Cynthia's penicillin allergy as an intolerance rather than a true allergy. She also planted the idea of quitting smoking to Cynthia. Iris probed Cynthia's readiness to quit, finding that she wasn't quite ready at the present time. Iris did not persist, recognizing that the time had to be right for Cynthia. Instead, Iris reassured Cynthia that the smoking cessation program was always available at her pharmacy whenever she was ready, and gave Cynthia a pamphlet about the program. Next, Iris proceeded to verify Cynthia's medication list. She involved Cynthia in the review of her medications, including confirmation of the name, reason, and how she's taking them. This was a very effective strategy in the MedsCheck process as it allowed Cynthia an opportunity to speak freely about her medications and to possibly recall both prescription and non-prescription medicines not already on her current medication profile. It also allowed Iris to assess Cynthia's knowledge and use of her medications. This opened the door to allow Iris to assess Cynthia's inhaler technique as the use of her salbutamol was quite infrequent. Please go to part two for the continuation of this scenario. Mm -hmm.